Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to make one of the world's best coffee at your own place. For this purpose, I use the Bialetti Mocha Express. I've used this one for several years, I think over five years, and uh, it never failed on me. This uh, little thing you can use to make a single uh, cup of espresso. And this one is its um, slightly bigger brother. It's good for three cups of espresso. So let's continue using this one. What we would need in this, um, to make this cup of coffee is some cold water, right here. We need some coffee. I use uh, Illy coffee. See, it's already grounded and uh, it's very, very fine. Alternatively, you can also use, um, for example, Lavazza. This is one of my favorites. We need uh, a tablespoon, a cup of coffee, and what we need is some kind of stove, or uh, in this case, this is ceramic for uh, heating. So let's get started. The Bialetti uh, consists of three parts. We have the can. This is where the coffee will end up in. The funnel, which is some kind of filter. And the water container. And very important, there is a valve, as you can see, to release uh, air pressure. So. Let's get through the procedure in five simple steps. We have amazing espresso coffee in just a few minutes. So step one is we fill the water container with water just underneath the lid. We just touch it. And you, you can just use cold water, tap water. Right there. Step one. Now, we grab the funnel and we put it inside the water container, just like that. Then we take ourselves some coffee. And here I use the, the, the coffee spoon. See? And we put it inside. I'm just gonna fill it up till it reaches the lid. And I do press it a little bit. Ah, we spilled some coffee. Now I try to remove a little bit of the coffee that is outside of the lid. And then step three is we screw on the can. We see there's some screw down mechanism. We screw it down quite firmly and I put it on the stove. As you can see I put it on just not too much heat. I don't want it to get too hot. And for our purposes let's start the timer so we know how much time we need to make a cup of coffee. So what will happen is um, the water, which is in the water container, will get very, very hot and it will push the coffee, which is in the funnel right here. It will push it through the funnel down right in the can. And when this happens, you can hear some kind of sizzling tea. This company has been around ever since 1933 this is the original design the mocha express and uh, i would endorse buying the original the original design made in italy very high quality materials lots of replicas around if you want to save a penny 
but I would definitely buy the original. I got this very nice Lavazza cup of coffee. This uh, holds precisely one cup of espresso. See, it's very nice porcelain, Italian. Very, very nice. And uh, for my birthday, my friends gave me these Nespresso glasses. I think they're also magnificent to drink coffee from. This is the Nespresso collection. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this um, product. Now when you'd like to go for a more American size of coffee instead of the Italian, what you can do is you can pour hot water uh, on top of the espresso and you end up with an American size coffee or Americano. So now if we zoom in you can see the coffee is coming. Let's zoom in a little bit. Here we can see the coffee is coming. I normally don't open the lid until I hear the sizzling sound. This is just to give you a little peek on what's happening down here. We can see right in the in the middle there's a nice crema coming. So let's close it up once again give it a little bit more time not sure if you can hear this there's a little sizzling and now I can hear a good sizzling I turned on the stove and let it rest for a few seconds as you can see all in all this took about seven minutes preparation and preparing the coffee and now we can pour ourselves an espresso so here we are 